everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm Lucette Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Sense, for another fabulous, fabulous Dollar Tree haul. Now, I need to stop going to the Dollar Tree. I know I keep saying that, but I'm going to take the advice of a very good friend who told me that I should only go once a week and I should limit my spending to $20. Uh, I am going to try to do that from now on. But in the meantime, I keep finding these fabulous items at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to show you what I found. The first thing that I found, how cute are these? Okay. I found these pineapple trays. Okay, they say tray. So they're like little serving trays or decorative trays. You could put like little snacks on them or... I don't know, you could use them for a multitude of things. So I picked up all three colors that I found. I found pink, I found gold, and I found this absolutely gorgeous iridescent white, which is just so, so beautiful. Okay, so yes, this would have been perfect for my pineapple, my entirely pineapple haul that I did a few videos back. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check that out. I found some crunchy rice rolls. Usually they have like cinnamon or some kind of flavored kind. If I buy them in the supermarket, I get wheat rolls. This time they just had crunchy uh, rice rolls. So yeah, I'm looking to see if I should. I already got the light on in my kitchen. I don't know why I seem like a little shadowed. So crunchy rice rolls. Then I picked up another fan. You know I love these fans. Oh my God. So I've been finding the nicest fans. First I found American flag fans. Then I found rainbow uh, flag or rainbow fans. And this time I found, I'm going to try to do it. I found a watermelon fan. I only found one because you know me. I would have bought two if they had two. So I found a watermelon fan. I haven't seen anybody haul these. So... Yeah, look how pretty, watermelon fan. So yes, then I'll be able to fan myself in the summer. You can see my watermelon TV tray there that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Those are kind of fragile. I did drop one that I had that has pineapples on it and it did break a corner. Um, then I got some sunblock. I don't know if this stuff works or if it's gonna give me a rash, but we'll find out. So I got the Max Block Sunscreen, and this is an SPF 50. I have SPF 30 in one of these other bags because I would have liked to have found 50, but the first store that I went to, because this is from a bunch of different stores, the first store I went to only had SPF 30 as the highest one, and then I was able to find SPF 50. Uh, and you guys know that sunscreen is ridiculously expensive in the uh, drugstore. I want to see if it smells like copper tone because you know we all look for things that smell like copper tone. That wonderful. Yes, you know what? It smells just like copper tone and I bet you it works just as well. This is, is this Greenbrier? Yes, this is distributed by Greenbrier. So we'll see if this protects me from the sun or if I become, I was going to say a crispy coconut. So, or if I lobster. So we'll see how the Max Block sunscreen works. I know like I've had, I don't, I usually use copper tone. I've had a terrible skin reaction to banana boat. So I don't use any of their products, but anyway, so this is max block and my favorite color purples. So then I got these flip flops. I don't need more flip flops and I actually find the ones from the Dollar Tree a little uncomfortable. The, the little thong part sticks in between my toes. Uh, but I like leaving these in the car for when I used to be able to get pedicures before the whole coronavirus thing. But I got these because these are like the mermaid scales. And I do have to get the largest size, which is size 9, 10 for my big feet because I do wear a size 9 and a half. So these size 9, 10 usually fits me pretty well. So I picked up these pretty, pretty mermaid flip flops. You guys saw that I hauled the psoriasis cream in a previous video. I have uh dry it's it's really psoriasis it's not i don't think it's eczema i really don't know the difference but i'm pretty sure it's psoriasis but um i got psoriasis cream last haul this one i decided to try because it has it had a pretty packaging and this is um dermacil labs eczema relief i want to see if it takes care of my dry skin it says moisturizing lotion with natural chamomile flower extract and collo collodial 
Colidiel, I don't know, oatmeal. I don't know how to say that word. So, um, it says dermatologist recommended. It's sealed, so I can't really smell it. It seems, it, I can kind of smell it through the seal. Seems okay. So I want to see if this works on my dry skin. I've never seen this before. I've seen Dermacil um, at Dollar Tree, but I've never seen the Eczema Relief Moisturizing Lotion. Colo I don't know how to say that word. Um, yeah, so it says non-greasy, fast absorbing, fragrance free. Fragrance free. So what am I smelling? I don't know. Paraben free. It says massage gently in circular motions, apply freely to hands, feet, or body. So, Dermacil Labs, yeah, made in China. Well, it says distributed by Fantasia Beauty in New York, but made in China. Cruelty free, no animal testing. Anyway, it says please recycle this too. Enough with that. I got some snacks that didn't make it to the video. You guys know that I love these. This is the Russell Stouffer Lemon Pucker. This is really grown on me. These are really excellent if you can find them. And I had also picked up the Russell Stouffer Sugar Free Mint Patties. There's only three in a pack, so not that good of a deal. Then I picked up some cosmetics as if I needed more. I don't know if I have these. I have so much makeup from the Dollar Tree. I really have to start using it. So... I got, this is lip gloss. So this is paradise pink. It's like a Barbie pink. And then I got this pink, which is more, this is, this is more uh, like a, a flat matte color. And this has glitter in it. This is glossy finish. Well, they both say glossy finish. So this is dreamy pink. So we have, this is paradise pink. This one here is Paradise Pink, and this is Dreamy Pink. So we'll see how those are. I hope the, the applicator doesn't break off like it did with that diamond polish. I saw that to get, I saw that again today at the Dollar Tree and did not pick it up because I was not taking a chance that the applicator was gonna break again. And then this one is in the shade Happiness. It's like a peachy gold color, and that's also lip gloss. And then, Sticking with the cosmetics, I am actually, I'm probably going to do a video on this. I actually bought hair dye in the Dollar Tree. I've never found a hair dye that looked not scary in the Dollar Tree or that, that looked not cheap and possibly could make my hair fall out. This is Garnier, which is a brand name. It's like, it's in the color berry picking. So it's like a, a berry burgundy it's deep burgundy and you guys know that i usually dye my hair um some shade of purple so deep burgundy and i was online with this and the woman behind me uh it was a really long line because they only had one cashier open the woman behind me was like wow that's really pretty where did you get that and i it, then i showed her where it was i was like oh it's in that aisle and then she couldn't find it so i got off the line and i found it for her but she helped my place but anyway so it says color sensation rich long lasting color cream conditioner with rose oil i'm gonna actually try to dye my hair with dollar tree hair dye even though it's by garnier so we'll see how that turns out Smelling all these things makes my nose run. And then I got some home decor. And I got to warn you guys about the decor. If you pick up stuff that... I can tear open these bags. If you pick up stuff that's ceramic, be careful and check. Even the other decorative items, you have to check them. I will get to those in a moment. So I picked up more. Are you surprised? Be surprised. I picked up three more bottles of the Power Aid Cucumber Lime because I'm always stocking up on these. Um, so I got three of those. I got two water bottles. These are ones with the straw, which I had two water bottles with uh, straws like this, not from Dollar Tree, and they both broke on me. Um, the straw dislodged and cracked and stuff. They were old. So I picked up two of these with the little spout. Is it going to work? 
with the little spout and the straw. I would have gotten one of one color and one of another color, but they only had pink. So these are PBA free and they have, you can, you know, hold them like this. So I got two of these fancy schmancy water bottles with the straw. I got a lot of interesting decor that I'm going to get to. Some of the nicest decor I found in a while, but I have so much stuff here. Okay, this is not included in that fancy decor, but this is something I found. Um, so it has sailboats on it and it says, take me to the ocean. So I'm going to hang this on my bedroom door because I already have decorations on my front door and stuff I, that I've done in previous videos. I'm going to switch up the decor on my bedroom door and have it say, take me to the ocean. You guys really can't see how pretty the colors are, but they are really pretty. Then I opened these because I needed them. Um, I got some bowls. These are from Solo. They are eight bowls, eight paper bowls. I have another one of those in here somewhere. I have a lot of stuff to show you. Quite a lot of stuff. Okay, so I got more bowls. Here's the Max Block. This is in the SPF 30, but this is in uh, Sport. So this is supposed to uh, stay on for 80 minutes if you're like sweaty. So try that out. We'll see which one is better, the SPF um, 50 or the SPF 30 Sport. So, I found this book. I get these decorative books. Um, they're like gifty type books with quotes in them. This is really pretty. Teal and pink. And it has glitter on it. It says faith. And it has some quotes. And it has an envelope here where you can give it as a gift. And the quote in here, just one of them says, Optimism is the faith that leads to achievement. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence and this is Helen Keller so it has just like these cute um things in it and these are these little books and stuff they're good as stocking stuffers to add if you're doing like you know like a cellophane bag full of like little goodies like a makeup bag and maybe some gloss and some bath and body work stuff you stick a little book in there completes your gift um I wanted to get to some okay You guys are going to be like, you went overboard. So speaking of gifts, I found four more, four more of the lips books, which uh, I read a little bit of it, um, of these books, of this book to you in uh, my last haul. I love it. It has new book smell. So now I have eight of them. So I definitely have enough to give out as gifts. I love this as just something to add to a gift for a birthday, for Christmas, for, for anything. Um, and it says lips, how to wear lipstick, lip gloss, and lift your lip game. So I just think these are so great. I hauled another book. I should have kept it next to me. Another decorative book a while back called Dear Jane, which had all these quotes from Jane Austen. And it was this beautiful Tiffany blue with these with this rose gold uh, accents on it. And I would love to find more of those Dear Jane books, but I had only was only able to find two. I did find a third one later on down the road, but it had dirt on it. So I wasn't able to get it, but I was able to stock up on the lips books. So there's that. And then I found these books. This is so me because I am so fascinated by this subject. So they had two and I got both of them. Having a hair experience. I got both of them. So this is, this is, this says you are cordially invited to attend some last suppers. This is a, a collection of final meals through the years. So this is gonna be death row meals. Now, if you guys are not familiar, uh, a lot of states, not now, but before, uh, would give prisoners on death row a last meal. Normally they would have whatever the cafeteria was serving on that particular day. But if you're being executed, they give you a choice of your last meal. 
some states have done away with that. I think all states have done away with it now because there was this one prisoner who ordered this enormous, enormous uh, last meal and didn't eat any of it. And then after that, I think every state did away with the last meal because of that guy. But there were states that had restrictions on like the dollar amount uh, of a last meal that you could request. And I've watched videos on last meals because I just find it, I know it's super morbid, but I find it so fascinating. Fascinating. It's like, um, let's see. The Oklahoma City bomber, Timothy McVeigh, I know his last meal was two gallons or pints of mint, I think it's pints of chocolate, mint chocolate chip ice cream. Eileen Wernos, the killer from that movie Monster, or she was portrayed in the movie Monster, she just wanted black coffee. Um, John Wayne Gacy wanted like a pound of fried chicken, strawberries, shrimps, and diet coke it's like it's so weird um you can you know it's so weird it's so morbid the whole idea of the last meal and everything so when i saw this i was like oh wow that is so me because i've done research on this and i think it's so so interesting so let's see okay So this says, chapter one is death row. And then it says world leaders and political figures, film stars and other celebrities, rock stars and musicians, writers and literary figures, royalty and historical figures, disasters and famous events. So I think maybe these are not all death row meals. This, this is not, this is funny. Um, so they have a, a quote here. I've actually seen this before. They got a, a quote here from a death row prisoner. It says, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. So, yeah. It says, it is, uh, it is tradition, perhaps as a last act of humanity, for condemned prisoners to request a final meal and receive the last rites if requested before facing their inevitable death. Um, yeah, see, this is the other thing. Most states serve the meal a day or two prior to the execution. Um, just for, I think, obvious reasons. Um, so let's, I want to see what the, uh, it, it has. Okay, so it has the death row meals, but what are the other meals? Writers and literary figures. Odd. I should do a whole video on this on this thing. It says writers and literary figures from Ernest Hemingway's hearty steak and potatoes to Julia Child's simple French onion soup. This chapter takes a peek into the often troubled lives of some of the world's most famous poets, playwrights, and novelists. And then it talks about last meals here, but it has a section about writers who choked to death. And then it was their last meal because they choked to death on it. Um, this is so strange. Yeah, so it goes way beyond. It goes way beyond the last meal of prison inmates. It goes into last suppers of people who passed away in different ways, whether they whether they killed themselves or whatever. It's it's completely, completely morbid. Um yeah. So I'm gonna read the back of this. Is this from it says a uh, a delightfully macabre miscellany looking at the meals enjoyed by famous people before they took their last breath. So if you guys want to know more about this, is, see, I'm, this is getting to be a really long video, but I'm interested in this and I want to talk to you guys about this book. Okay, so it says, from prisoners on death row to world famous film stars, everyone eats a last suffer, supper before shuffling off, off this mortal coil. So if you've ever wondered whether Elvis really did die on the toilet eating a giant sandwich, 
Well, what the Titanic's passengers dined on just hours before their ill-fated vessel sank? Then you'll find the answers to these all-important questions in Last Suppers. It says, packed with fascinating insights into the meals people enjoyed before meeting their maker, this irreverent, absorbing, and entertaining collection of death-related trivia makes the perfect gift and provides plenty of pointless facts for conversations at work or over a beer. This looks really, really interesting. So that's why I picked up two. If I would have picked up, if there would have been more, I would have picked up more because I have friends that are just as morbid and would find this as fascinating as I am going to. Uh, and I think they would enjoy that. So that was a great find for me. I know I went completely off into left field with that. And then I'm going to get comments on this video. You spent too much time on that one book. You spent like five minutes discussing that one book. You can fast forward these videos. I don't know if you know that person who commented on my previous videos. I picked up some jaw clips because I'm forever losing these clips. I misplace them. I step on them. And then I find 10 at the bottom of my purse. So I got one color, one black and white. I got more of these reporters notebooks. And I'm going to talk to you more about these. So I got this one. It says grow where you're planted and it has a little cacti on it. And these books are good. Like I told you for writing one handed, you can hold the book in this hand and the pen in this hand. So that's super convenient. And it has, it's like, um, gold foil. These are the best kind of reporters notebooks because they have the pen already attached and it has a little rubber band there. So if the pen, the pen, the, the pun, the pen runs out of ink, you can replace it with any pen that you would like. I bought these uh, books before and the pen is not the best. So you may want to swap it out with another, another pen. This is like a brown kind of 1970s looking confetti design. And it says note. And this one says it's the little things in life. And it has the cacti and the succulents and the aloe plant on it. And they're, like I said, perfect for writing one-handed and having the pen right there instead of having to stick it through the, the little hoopty hoops here is good as well. Um, so that's very, very convenient. And I like to have those on hand if I know I'm going to be out and about at a place where I'm going to have to stand while I'm writing or I'm going to have to be running while I'm writing or doing stuff. I picked up these flip-flops. They had them in different colors. They had pink. They had yellow, which I almost got, but I ended up getting the teal. Uh, and it's this really, really pretty, like, you know, summery teal aqua color with stripes. Uh, and yeah, it's just really shiny. And like I said, I like to keep these in the trunk of my car just in case I'm at the nail salon when they, when it was open. And if I'm like wearing sneakers or if I'm wearing sandals that are like, you know, with a strap instead of a, you know, thing here, I like to keep these in the car to have them ready for if I'm going to get a pedicure. Cause I could be out and know that I'm going to get a pedicure and be wearing strappy sandals. And then I forget and I just go out and I'm like, oh crap, I don't have the flip flops. So, cause then they have to give you the paper flip flops or you have to buy flip flops from them for like a dollar or they give you the paper ones if you don't want to pay a dollar, but whatever. I got some canvas art. I, oh, and I got this magnet. Wait, let's show you the magnet to go with my collection of magnets. This is a new one that I found. It says, let's go bananas. I'm going to take a vote from you guys on which of this wall decor art stuff you like the best. So I found this. It's like a perfume bottle. It says L'Amour. And it is just like really nice to go with my 1950s, 1960s kind of retro decor that I have in my apartment. Really good for any room. It could go in the living room, could go in the bedroom, bathroom. And I just thought this, it was really like kind of uh, Chanel looking and it says L'Amour and then it says Parfum de something and then it says Paris. It almost looks like it says Parfum de 
Muse, but that can't be right because then it would be like perfume of the museum or something. I don't know. But it's it's a really pretty um canvas art, and this is like a 12 by 12. No, can't be 12 by 12. Wouldn't be that big. Because 12 by 12 is the size of a record. But anyway, yeah, so it's a square canvas. Um, then I found these two that I they look perfect together. So it's a teacup, or yeah, it's a teacup, and it has a bird. And it has this gold foil, if you can see it there. So I just thought these would look so perfect together. You can't really tell how amazingly gorgeous they are and how bright and vibrant they are from the camera. But these are going to look really nice. I don't know where I'm going to put them quite yet. I have a picture of a peacock um, that might, I don't know, that might look good in the middle and have it like as a three. It's too bad they didn't have a third one, you know, but I only saw these two and they really, really very pretty. This is like a, a royal blue and this is like a teal. Then they had these shadow boxes. Okay, so here's what I was telling you about decor. I had to run off the line, this really long ass line that I was on at the Dollar Tree, to go and replace these shadow boxes because I would notice that they were dinged or dented or cracked. So really, really look at the decor before you buy it. So now they have these sparkle, I'm going to say sparkle, I have, um, sparkle collection of shadow boxes. So there are these shadow boxes and they have, they have glitter in them and they each have different sayings. So this says sparkle with all your heart. This one says, it's time to sparkle, and it's purple. And then this one says, sparkle every day. And then this one is also with sparkles in it, but it says, unicorns are real, their mermaids told me. So, and it, and it all has that, that glitter in it. But you have to be careful because Especially look, check the corners, check the sides, make sure it's not all dinged and dented. This one was, okay, the girl didn't even wrap it, but this one I've been looking for for a while. Um, I think Couponing for a Cause has it in the background of her videos. You guys saw that I hauled um, a sign for my desk that said girl boss on it. And then I had one that says babe or whatever. So I found this one. They had different ones. One said like, let it go, which was, I don't know. And they had one that said good vibes. I like this one that says lady boss. And it's decor and it's ceramic. And you have to really check because like I said, I was online and I noticed that it had a crack in it. And I had to go back and get another one. And this I've been looking for for quite a while. And they're all, they will all have imperfections. They will all not, I mean... If you look close enough, you'll find imperfections in, in them. But look for dings and dents and scratches, uh, particularly. So this is Lady Boss. This is so cute. It has a gold foil em uh, envelope. A gold foil elephant. And it says, think happy thoughts. I don't know if elephants are supposed to be bring you good luck, but I thought that would look nice near my desk. I really have to sit out, stop putting things near my desk and put them other places. Maybe I'll put this in the bedroom. So I have not seen anybody else haul this and I have not seen this anywhere uh, in, in any other Dollar Trees. So yeah, think happy thoughts. I bought two of these because I wanted backups in case I asked you guys if I should. Okay, let me show you. I asked you guys if I should leave these outside of the plastic, free-flowing, or leave them in the plastic. And most of you agreed that I should leave them outside the plastic, free-flowing. The dresses, as you can see, if you leave them open, the dresses will float past the bottom in a sort of a 3D design. So just in case the ones that I have up get ruined because they are open, which I went with your suggestions on that, um, I picked up 
an extra in each. I looked online, they do at this time only come in two different designs and these are the two designs, the black with the polka dot and the yellow with the gold stars. And the girl is the, is the same on both. And this is a, obviously a white frame. This is a white frame and this is, or this is a silver frame and this is a gold frame. So I picked up that, oh, I also picked up another one. I put that one, see it there? I wanted another one of these because it's so pretty. I just needed another one just to keep in another room or to have as a spare or to give as a gift. I actually should have picked up a few more as gifts. Uh, life begins after coffee because it's just so perfect. And the teal and it's so like retro looking. So 1950s kitchen looking. I picked up some of these apple puffs, which I got last time and tried out. And I told you guys they kind of, they're like cheese doodles, only they're apples, apple puffs. And, but they're dry. They're good, but they're kind of dry. So um, be sure to have some something to drink next to you while you're munching on those. Am I almost done? I'm almost done. I can't believe it. I thought I had more stuff. Okay. Um, I picked up this notebook. Did I need another notebook? No. This has a little, yeah. It says ice cream solves everything. And doesn't it? And this has got thin pages, but not too thin. And it's aligned, it's lined, and it is 80 sheets. Yeah, ice cream solves, solves everything. They had different ones, but I only like this one. And then I picked up these feminine wipes, which I have not tried yet. Oh, I have to tell you about the feminine products. Get the children out of the room for this part of it when I get to it. So I'm from the Assured brand. I picked up these feminine cloths and I tell you guys that I only purchase, if I'm gonna get any kind of wiping cloth, I always make sure that I get the ones that have the plastic closure so that the towelettes do not dry out. Some people say, well, yes, you can keep them in a Ziploc bag and yes, you can, but it's a pain in the butt. So I always make sure that I get them with the plastic closure. So this is the Assured brand Feminine Cleansing Cloths. This is in Creamy Coconut. And then I also picked up Feminine Cleansing Cloths in Mandarin Orange, which is the two cents that they had. Oh, yeah. So I'll tell you about the feminine product at the end. So you can have your, the little ones leave the room for that. Um, I picked up more of the bikini shave gel. This works really well on all delicate areas, legs, underarms, you know, you, you name it. Um, the only problem with this is that it's only five fluid ounces. So it goes, you know, like really fast. If you're using this to shave under your arms, your legs, everywhere, um, you use up the product pretty fast, but it does work really well in preventing nicks and cuts and stuff like that. And then I got some facial scrub. This is sealed. It kind of smells like lavender. Um, this is from Bolero of Beverly Hills, which is not made in Beverly Hills. This is nourishing facial scrub in French, French lavender and citrus. And it has like the little beads in there. So I figured I'd try this out. And then I picked up a mug that I had to check like every one of them because they all of them had something wrong with them. It was either a, a bump, a scrape, a dent, or whatever. Every single one of them had something wrong with it. I think even this one, they all had something wrong with them, but it's this pretty uh, pastel pink and it's black inside. I don't know if I want to keep this for myself this says by Plates and Beyond, made in China. I don't know if I want to keep this for myself or if I want to give this to my mom because I know she enjoys a cup of tea with some crackers and stuff or if I if I want to use it, but I have so many mugs, but this is really nice. I would have gotten two of them, but like I said, I spent so much time looking at every single one and they, like I said, they all had something wrong with them. So yeah, I was like, I'm not looking through this whole thing. Not that there were that many. There was maybe about 
20 or 30 of them but I was like I don't really feel like looking through 30 cups to to find which ones you know are the most perfect and then watch I'll find the ones that are most perfect and then I'll end up dropping the mug on the floor like I did with that your one in a melon one that I found I was going to return it because it had a scratch on it and then I ended up dropping it and breaking it anyway so like I said I don't know if kind of matches my nails I don't know if I want to keep it or give it to mom I don't know so, oh, okay. So this is the TMI section. Um, so if you have the little children's, tell them to exit now. So you guys know that that uh, Dollar Tree has feminine cloths and stuff, feminine cleansing cloths. You could use these as hand wipes. You can wipe whatever you want with these. I'm not asking. But they had this stuff, right, that I just noticed recently. It said feminine spray does not say feminine cleansing spray. It says feminine spray, which to me could mean anything. A feminine spray could be a body spray or or whatever. But then I looked at the bottle. Like, let's say this is the bottle. So it's like, it's like about this size. And it's a spray bottle. Like, a, like it looks like a spray deodorant type bottle. It says feminine spray. And then I looked at it and I'm looking at the direction. It says hold eight to 10 inches away from vagina. And I was like, oh no. Mm -mm. let me put that back I am not I am not testing that out from the Dollar Tree if you guys have tested out the feminine spray feminine spray uh let me know what you think but I was not mm -mm. no I'm not I'm not spraying that area with uh with anything from the Dollar Tree so that is my haul oh it's a lot of stuff so yeah, I know I went rambling and rambling about these books, but I am going to enjoy reading these. I hope to find more of them. If you guys have found this book, if you found, um, I'm actually, you know what? I wanted to ask you if you guys have found those Last Supper books, if you found the Lips books, or if you found Dear Jane, let me know. And I'm going to show you guys just in case you missed. Oh, look, there's Jane Mansfield up there. But this is Jane Austen. If you guys missed my haul on this, these are the Dear Jane books. Looking for more of these. Um, they are excellent and pretty and perfect for gifts. So... Let me know if you found them, if you found some interesting, oh, stuff from the Dollar Tree. And just a recap, if you watched my video from last time, of all the DVDs that I bought from the Dollar Tree, I watched this one, Predestination. It got really good reviews. I thought it was awful. I just did not get it. I was like, mm -mm, nope. And then I told you guys, like, I've never found a movie for a dollar that I thought was really good that I've never watched before. I stand corrected. This movie right here, Money Monsters, with George Clooney and Julia Roberts. I had never seen it before. Picked it up at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Was excellent. Really, really good movie. So, that is my recap on that. Oh, and now Malcolm is looking at all my stuff from the Dollar Tree. So if you like this video, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.